All right, predicting the missing decimals in a sequence of decimals. So we've seen these uh, decimal patterns before. However, in this case, what's really changing is the, the decimal point, the place of the decimal points, okay? This is what's, what's shifting around. So basically we need to find what's missing in these two boxes. So let's see what's happening between the first two numbers, okay? Let's see what's happening between the first two numbers. Where's the decimal point going? Okay, it looks like the decimal point is moving one place to the right. Okay, so that's that's why it's ended up here. So one place to the right. And then what happens from what happens from this number to this number? We go point zero one one eight and we go to point one one eight. Again, it looks like the decimal point is moving one place to the right. So the next iteration, the next number right here. It would really be 0.118, and I'd move the decimal point over one place. That's the pattern. So I'm going to have 1.18. For the next number, I have 1.18, and I'm going to move the decimal point over again one place. So now I'm going to have 11.8. The pattern is very simple. The decimal point is moving one place to the right each time.